2015, looking back on it for a moment, obviously you got the One Day Player of the Year award, a few match winning performances from yourself, were you happy with how it went? Um, yeah, obviously I was pretty pleased with um, sort of the first season that I've actually sort of contributed quite well to the side. Um, and to, to get to two quarter finals um, in that one day competition and also the NatWest T20, um, was pleased with the Kent. For us, sort of the Kent policy coming through to sort of show what we could do. Um, unfortunately, we didn't go further than, than two quarter finals, but um, we'll be looking to try and put that right this year. And obviously, you cap the year off by signing a new contract. There's a bit of speculation about that, but ultimately, your heart was always at Kent. Yeah, I, I came through Kent um, from a very young age and sort of was in the academy from 13 onwards uh, and it's sort of my home so I, I never really looked to go anywhere else but it's about to sign for Kent and I, and I was happy to sort of put pen to paper on it and hopefully uh, two successful years with Kent. And looking ahead to 2016, the fixtures are coming out and we're going back to Beckenham for another six days. What does it mean for you coming from that neck of the woods to, to play at the county ground there? Yeah, I, I love playing at Beckenham. Um, being a Beckenham boy, um, I've been playing there, whether it be in the second team or the first team, um, the facilities are great, a good wicket, and the crowd's usually good. Um, and we play against Surrey there, which is always a always a big game of the season. So we, we beat them last year there, so hopefully we can beat them again this year. Excellent. And um, for the winter, you've got a few plans. You went earlier in the year, you went out to South Africa for a little trip. You, I take it you're going back there, ho or hoping to? Yeah, well, Adam Ball's out there at the moment, um, so I think there's a couple of us looking to go over in the new year and sort of join up with Bawley um, and do our, do our training in the week uh, and our fitness and I think it'll be good for us to come back um, after that for pre-season and sort of hit the ground running. Um, and any highlights from 2015, just looking back, um, you had a few big knocks, any, any particularly stick out for you in, in either format? The one where it all kind of began for me was at the Rose Bowl, that, or the Aegeus Bowl that night, where um, we managed to chase down that score, um, me and Sam, uh, on, on TV as well. So that was always um, that was always a highlight really for me, and that sort of kick-started my season in that, in that campaign, and, and kind of got on a bit of a roll from there. So I think I'd say that.